and it's a little bit early but it says we are live and that must mean it's thursday night i'm here you're beautiful it's time for got by goes live i of course am your host your most humble of hosts dennis moulton aka got by as always please like comment share of course subscribe and while you are at it light my baby hit that notification bell it helps me out a ton and it lets you know when content of all sorts goes appear on the channel check out machinery of man the everything factor all the groups then i'm either a mod or an admin for as well as all of my social media links all of that's in the description down below also in the description down below and if you're in a position to help the channel to grow you can use that donate link check us out on patreon see what we have to offer to you through spring or of course hit the join button at any given time and become a channel member tonight we have a number of things to talk about regarding Transformers 1, not the least of which, of course, is the trailer. Uh, we are also going to talk about several new details for uh, Magmatron. Uh, in third-party news, we'll cover a little bit from DX9. We'll cover a little bit from New Age. Um, and touch on robeson a little bit um and let's see what else we're we gonna do here um a little bit of tf con a little bit of christmas and then we will do the unboxing no we'll do the trivia then we'll do this week's unboxing uh which is a few items we got a few items actually they we're kind of to the point where i have some other things like off in the offing so tonight we'll do three items of, of what I've got kind of off to the side and stuff. We'll do three items tonight. And uh, of course, they will be the upcoming reviews, right? So we're going to do all of that. Let me just get everything kind of set up here. I hope you guys are heading into your Thursday night and your weekend with things going very well. I know you deserve it. And let me see here what we've got, who we've got. Um, dun, 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 hold on, I gotta get myself a little, little situated here. Okay, let's get going here, shall we? Hey, uh, Omega, Keldeo, um, kept watching it over and over. I wasn't able to, I was at work, so I, I would fit it in at lunchtime, basically. Um, hey, Paul. Uh, hey, Lance. Ah, you know what? It's actually been a busy week. It's been a pretty good week, although we had uh, weather today, so the drive home from work was real surprisingly slippery for, you know, middle of April. Surprisingly slippery. Um... Uh, what happened last Thursday? Uh, they made this uh, stream short. I'll, I'll, you know what? Let me get down through and I'll uh, just address that. Luckily, it wasn't anything too serious, but I'll address it in a second. Um, hey, Franzese, um, saw that new, uh, saw that new Optimus. He really looks like he was made of pre-yellowed plastic. We'll talk about that. And we'll talk about Starscream wife's reaction to that Optimus as well. Um. I feel the Optimus Prime robot mode. From, see, I'm not going to read all the one comments now, guys, because um, I'm going to address those thoughts later. And I, I kind of will revisit it then. Um, but I'm, I'll i say this. For what I'm reading here about the one trailer um, and the subsequent news related to that, I, I'm kind of in the same mindset as you guys. But we'll get there uh, in just a couple of moments when I get caught up here. That'll be really, let's be realistic. That's going to be the first news that I'm going to address. Um, Perceptor and Wheeljack show. <laughs> Do you think Transformers 1 would have been called Trans... Uh, what? Should have been called Transformers at the beginning? No, I'm okay with 1 because 1 is the beginning, right? 1. Like, this is day 1, right? I'm okay with that being the name, honestly. I, I don't... The beginning is just too literal. Um, All-time favorite Transformers cartoon besides G1. Prime, easy. Prime is brilliantly, brilliantly written. Um, yeah, Prime. Okay, so uh, last week things got cut short. Um, we, our, our youngest son was out and his phone died, and uh, we couldn't get a hold of him. And it had become a couple hours, and he was supposed to go to his grandmother's anyway. He got lost trying to go there in the city, um, so we went out kind of looking for him. Anyway, all's well that ends well. Luckily. But it was nerve-wracking for maybe 
45 minutes, you know, about that. Um, so I, that's why I cut it short. It was a little bit of a family emergency that luckily did not become an emergency at all. It was just a matter of uh, the phone went dead and then no communication. It was, it was as simple as that, luckily. Um, but thank you guys for inquiring and understanding that I had to cut a brief last week. The week before that, we had the tech issues. Let's hope that tonight nothing happens and we have ourselves a normal uh, feel good show, honestly. And how about we kick things off with Transformers 1? And we have a number of things to kind of address with that. Um, so how about we begin here? Um, bear with me. This, of course, is the new studio series, I believe, 112 version of, that's right, Optimus Prime from Transformers 1. And this is very interesting, I suppose, is the uh, word that I will use. Um, so... I didn't know what to think of this. Uh, it's definitely very bulked up. It reminds me an awful lot. The vehicle mode reminds me an awful lot of Thunder Manus. Um, who makes that? Is that a DX9 thing as well? Uh, it reminds me a lot of the look of Thunder Manus. But the way the chest is shaped and the window in the chest reminds me very much of G1 Orion Pax. Now, Starscream Wife saw this and she said, um, interesting interesting uh she liked the head but she didn't like the the way the chest was and didn't like the the way the um i like windows are on the chest it wasn't optimus prime enough for her and too much gray that doesn't really look gray it's a warm gray obviously and somebody said earlier it looks pre-yellowed i tend to agree i'm like what a ugly gaudy color why would you choose that i don't for studio series, I don't know, man. I don't think that this looks that great, personally. Uh, the other thing that Starscream Wife really pointed out, she said, look at the hollowness in the forearms. And right there, as you can see in this picture, in the thigh. She said, it really stands out on him. And I think it stands out because of the plastic used, to be honest with you. And she was like, you know, this is 2024. Like, you got to stop that. And for what you're charging, the price stuff, like, you got to stop that. Um, so, like, even she's noticing, and, like, she's not a fan, so to speak, like, we are fans, and even she's noticing this sort of stuff, you know? Um, I don't know. I It's not the best Optimus, though I do like the head sculpt, so I'll give credit where credit is due for that. Now, that said, let me close that one. Why don't we next, hmm, let's see. Um... Bear with me here, guys, because I'm actually looking for something. There we go. And, of course, we have a kid here wearing uh, a, a, a Bumblebee mask. I, I'm not going to lie. The Rise of the Beast, Primal, and Bumblebee masks, I don't know if I've seen even one of them sell. The, every store I go to, it, from GameStop to Toys R Us to Walmart, is they're crammed, crammed on the shelves. And I don't, I don't know. I don't know who wants to wear a robot on their face. I don't know if you guys dig this or not. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of the mask. I don't know. The robot just looks very plain. It's a clever idea, and and it's one that I think kids could certainly enjoy because it gives you both the cosplay element as well as the robot element. I think it's a clever way to do masks, but I don't know if I don't know if kids necessarily realize that these actually do convert because they're packaged in mask form right so I, I don't know and maybe they're doing fine where you are but they don't seem to sell well here uh and of course there's the optimus prime um <laughs> the robot looks really rough it's, it's so hard to say that this is good because you know look at it right it doesn't i saw primal mask at a centeros ross last night yeah i mean i don't know i don't know I, i'm looking at this and i'm like hey line uh i'm like I, I don't 
I don't even know what Optimus looks like in the film because every time I see a picture of him, he's different. Um, this is garbage. I don't know why this exists. This is utter trash. This is also utter trash. It, this is what the third time that this uh, Authentics Megatron has come out in, in some line. Like it was Authentics, then it was Rise of the Beasts, and now it's coming out again in Transformers One. Hasbro, nobody wants this. It doesn't sell. Look at it. It's ugly. It's garbage. Stop it. You're just taking garbage and repackaging it. Nobody wants this. Same with this. This is trash. Why, why do you? It's trash. Then we get to something that's interesting. I'm assuming this is another gimmick thing. I don't know what it's called, but at least this one looks like it has some articulation. And its two modes look sensible. This is the one version of Alpha Tryon, um, who I believe is voiced by Lawrence Fishburne, which I think is very interesting. Um, interesting choice for the voice. I don't think I would necessarily just guess that this is Alpha Tryon. I'm very intrigued that he has the lion alt mode here with the horn a la titan's return which makes me wonder if he has that alt mode is this the alpha trion old sage we know and love or could this be some sort of a shattered glass danger i don't know we'll see um and then we also have like a you know like a main main line i suppose we'll say optimus i feel like the windows on his chest should be bigger Certainly in vehicle mode, like for a tractor trailer, that's a tiny, tiny windshield, man. Um, I don't know. I don't I don't dislike this. I don't really like the gray forearms. Optimus's entire arm is supposed to be red. I, I think I'd feel better if his whole arm was red, but you know what? Let's let's watch the movie. Let's watch the movie and give that a chance, you know? So, you know, the authentic sea stuff, trash, utter garbage. Uh, the Alpha Trion, that's interesting. And the Optimus, I think that's interesting. I wish Alpha Trion had more painted detail on it. Um, and the masks, I, I hope they sell better than they have because I, I kind of like to see them succeed. Honestly, not for me, but I, I kind of like to see them succeed. Let's check in with you guys before we talk about kind of the trailer and some other elements from there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um... I'm not sure if it's just me, but I feel like Optimus Prime's robot mode from one is loosely based on the War Within. I kind of get uh, War Within vibes too, Omega. I can see that. Um, hey, Jamal. The new Transformers 1 trailer was interesting. Yeah, we're going to get to that next. Do you think Transformers 1 should... Okay, I already read that one. So we go down here a little bit. Uh, hey, Lee Bird. Um... Yeah, yeah. Luckily, everything turned out all right. I mean, um, I, I'm, I'm, bless, bless you. She's not even paying attention. We've been rewatching Dexter. If you've never watched that series, it's a great series. And she has headphones on. That's what she's watching. Uh, what did you think of the spot I found to store Legacy Gears chest plate? I don't know. I, I didn't look at. It. I told you, I don't have that yet. I'm not looking at anything that you send me about it. I didn't look at any of those messages. I. Saw that you said gears, and then I sent you the message, and that's it. I didn't look at anything else, and I won't until I have it. Um, it's not a part of my life yet, so I don't know what you're talking about, Sovereign. You got to, if I tell you, if you got something and you know I don't have it, don't send me information about it. I'm not going to look at it. I want zero information about anything I'm potentially reviewing. Zero, none, because it's going to color my views. So I don't know. I'll tell you after, when, and if I'm able to get them. Uh, Generations toy line after Legacy Prime should have been called Transformers Genesis. Why? Why should it have been called Genesis? I don't think it's going to cause confusion with the Prime cartoon. I also don't think it's going to be called Prime Generations or Generations Prime or Legacy Prime. It's not going to be called any of that. We don't know what the name is going to be yet. It's just we're calling it Prime by default. Um, maybe it will be called Genesis. I don't know. Finally got 86 Snarl. About time, Waspinator. Ain't he, ain't he a blast? Ain't he a blast? Uh, I took a solid year to get him. As long as he showed up, man. As long as he showed up. Yellow Miss Prime. Yeah, I'm kind of there with Yellow Miss Prime. Hey, Donnie. This toy is going to be a must-buy for me. That's fair. It looks like... No. Keep in mind that that Optimus is a deluxe, by the way. Um... It looks good, no complaints, but I bet we'll get an Earth mode. Why would we get an Earth mode? I don't even think they go to Earth in this movie. 
they, we may eventually, but I don't think we're going to get an Earth mode for Transformers 1. Um, remember what I said last week when I talked about the plot details? I feel like it's a mix of the book, the movie, the city of Ember, where they all live underground and are looking for a way to the surface. And then once they get to the surface, it sounds like the Wizard of Oz, where they're, they're trying to go and get the Matrix and Sentinel, just like meeting the Wizard, which isn't the bad premise. Both of those uh, movies, wildly successful. So why not pattern yourself after it? Plus, it's a little different than the same old MacGuffin thing. Hey, input. Um, he pretty much is Orion Pax in the trailer. So that makes sense. Uh, I agreed which makes me surprised that we're getting an Optimus with an Optimus head rather than a studio series of Ryan Pax. But I guess we'll see how it plays out. We have to paint the gray plastic gray. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to paint the gray silver. That's fair too. May pick it up for a custom Cybertronian Ginra. Interesting. That would be very interesting. Hey, Albert. Uh, hey, Jenny. Oh, it's Dragonfly. I got you. Uh, I think it makes a good Cybertronian Optimus Prime. Uh, that being said, it's not the best. Yeah, it's it's not a bad Cybertronian mode at all. I'm surprised it's Deluxe. Uh, I, it's a weird Optimus release. I'm not going to lie. I'm not against it. I don't dislike it, but I understand the criticisms of it. Um, really hope the gray is not that color when it comes out. It 100% will. I'd be shocked if it's not. I hope it's not too. I hope that they hear people say, oh, that's an ugly gray and change it. But I think it's the same plastic. I think it's the same sort of gray that they're using on Squeeze Play. And that looks pretty pre-yellow too. Um, Thunder Madness's Make Toys. Thank you very much. Yes, I couldn't remember who it was. That's not news. That's garbage. The mask. The mask isn't news. It's garbage. The bee mask is the same mask from Rise of the Beasts. Um... Is it the same mask from Rise of the Beast? Probably. That would make sense. Uh, of course, the mask formers make a return. Hey, Darren. Uh, oh, by the way, hey, Razor Bear, if I didn't say buddy. Um, <laughs> transforming masks. Oh, okay. I'm reading it, Albert, as that's exactly how you said it. Uh, how do I fix loose joints in my transformer toys? It depends on the joint and depends on what you're trying to fix. Uh, I personally like ball joints, for example. Um, you can use the floor wax. People will sometimes say fingernail polish. I wouldn't. I've never gotten that to work. Um, some people will say super glue. I mean, I, either the um, pledge floor polish or the... Um, personally, I use Bondic or plastic weld. And I'll send like a ball joint and I'll build the hinge up. Um, if it's a hinge joint, that's a lot tougher. Uh, you may have to find something that you can stick in the gap in the joint, uh, wherever it is that's making it loose, uh, to be like some sort of a filler. Again, I would use some plastic weld myself uh, just inside the joint. But some people would put a little dab of glue in there. Some people use the Kiki stuff. So there's a lot of different options. But for my money, I would either use... Bondic slash plastic weld, or I would use the um, uh, pledge floor polish. But that's just me. Hey, line. Um, I prefer superposable transformers. Me too. So plain and ugly. Yes, yes, yes. Those things are. I'm assuming you're talking about like those one step garbage things. Um, the Alpha Trine is a must buy. That's fair. Uh, at this rate, Hasbro might as well make a transforming Oscar the Grouch who turns into a yellow trash can. Hasbro believes that believes in we reuse our reduced stuff and recycle the stuff no one buys. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. They keep recycling a lot of junk. Hey, heathen. Uh, enjoying creator. The creator skits, awesome stuff. Ah, thank you very much. Um, and there will be more of those to come. Uh, as time goes on, it doesn't have a regular schedule. I'm still really um, trying to find a proper workflow for creator and the corporate man. More are definitely coming and hopefully it'll become more regular. I'd like to be able to also do some kind of uh, short, fun little ones with them, like maybe shorts or something. So creator and the corporate man, they're, they're an evolution. They're an evolution. 
Um, would it be cool to get Clench in the Transformer Generations toy line? Well, we do have the Swapticon that's going to be Nemesis Prime and Clench, however that's going to work. But that's the first time that we've had that. But Clench is one of those that, yeah, that's due for a Generations update for sure. Stop giving me the same guys over and over. Give me a Clench. Why not? Um, what is your new Transformers purchase? Well, hold on. Well, I'm that's what that's gonna be the unboxing at the end of the show, Eastman. All right. So let's get to this. Uh where is it? There we go. The one trailer. The one trailer, the thing that everyone's been talking about. Man, oh man, I'm not gonna lie to you to you guys. I am really looking forward to this movie. Um that I've seen the trailer. But I don't think we had to have this nonsense countdown BS. And, I, you know, I mean, having Hemsworth and uh, what's this dude's name? What's his name? Um, Brian Tyree. Uh, they're like I, them introducing it, I guess, is neat, but I don't think it was needed. I, I love the artwork. I, I like the shade. It looks very. I like that it looks organic, actually. And I'll explain why. I like that it looks organic. Uh, as we go through, of course, they're down there. And we see D16, pre-Megatron. We see Orion Pax. Yes, the faces, people said, look more hum human. I don't know. And robotic, maybe, maybe. But remember, they're actually on Cybertron. It's not like they have, um, what, uh, I guess, like, scan new forms and stuff. This is, like, the way the robot is from the proto form, right? And what I find very interesting is it's been stated that one is a prequel really that leads us to the characters that we know in the live action 07 film that's been the claim and that the story of one will somehow itself be a trilogy i'm not sure how it will fit but it was explicitly stated that hemsworth uses an american accent and by the end of the one trilogy it will make sense how it goes from Chris Hemsworth's voice to Peter Kuhn's voice. I don't know what that means. I don't know how it will work out. I am skeptical, but that's the claims that I've heard. In this specific trailer, I like that D60 has his black helmet pre-Megatron. Um, I love the, I kind of love the um, soft contours as well. It seems realistic. Uh, this dude looks bad. It looks, I don't even know who this is, but he looks like a bad dude. Um, maybe you know who it is. A little bruticus -y, a little um, Bumblebee movie rumble-ish, but I don't think it's either of those. B-127, obviously the comic relief. And you know what? Keegan-Michael Key is hilarious. I love that guy. So him being B here, I, I think that that's fine. You know, it's cool that he's trying to come up with his name. They're like, yeah, we're just going to call you B, right? So um, we're kind of getting the origins of Bumblebee's name, which is neat. Uh, as we fly through here. And we can see here, um, this looks very Optimus Prime-y, right? These are stills from the the trailer. You can see here, uh, you know, you have a, a, a like a bustling society that's alive. Megatron's eyes aren't red yet. They're just like normal yellow. But those eyes, those are very red. So like, what is it that brings out Megatron's rage? You know what I mean? That's obviously Megatron, right? Um, I really hope when he becomes trying, he doesn't keep the black helmet. I know that that's a comic thing and a lot of people like it. I've never liked that for Megatron. I like it for D16. I don't like it for Megatron. Uh, that looks like the, the Nemesis ship potentially to me. Or some people have said this might be a Quintesson ship. I don't know about either of that. Uh, this is why people are talking about the more organic faces. But you know what? I don't think they're necessarily more organic. You go back to G1 and look at those faces. They have teeth and stuff like they move like organic faces. So I think it's just keeping in line with what G1 would be if it was CGI. Personally, this is kind of the when I was a little kid, and I heard that there was a Transformers movie and I was like, man, are they real? This was almost what it was pictured, to be honest with you. This was really what I sort of had in my imagination as a kid as to what the Transformers would kind of look like 
if they were in the real world. I love, I love the art that's been done here. Um, I, I mean, you know, you have a bunch of um, drones, I'm going to call them. I, I love that, you know, you look at his face here and his brim and his crest. And it looks a little cuppish, which makes sense because Cup and Orion packs often share the same mold. I can see a little bit of cup here. Going through, I'm not necessarily, you know, staying on all of them. By the way, uh, no, that's not the one I wanted to talk about. Here you see like an animal. You know, it's just a robotic animal. That's all. You see like trees and stuff. So if you're a fan of G1, and I mean an actual fan of G1, then you should be a fan of all of G1. And explicitly, whether you want to agree with me or not, Beast Wars and Beast Machines are explicitly G1, as are Beast Wars 2 and, and Neo, it, but they fit in weird. And by the end of Beast Machines, as esoteric and difficult as that series can be to watch for a lot of people, I love it now. But I was on like my third viewing of it before I realized the message that it was really trying to get across. By the end of it, Cybertron is kind of returned to a semi-organic state, a fusion of technology and the organic, the beauty of the techno-organic. And it's alluded that Cybertron was returned to what it once was long before the Quintesson invasion made it into the cold, me metallic, only world that it was. I think that this is a nod to the fact that before there was a war, before there was the Autobots and Decepticons, before there was a Megatron and a rise up or a roll out, before there was a war, any of that stuff, there was a society, a thriving society, not built on buildings, fortresses, and metal, but with animals and life and trees. I think you have to go into this movie forgetting everything that you know about Transformers. I think you have to go into this movie saying, this is truly the one. This is the beginning of the very beginning. I think that's what they're aiming for here. I don't know if it will be successful, but I think it's a beautiful, elegant place to start. And maybe, maybe it can be successful. I don't know. Time will tell. But I love, love, love seeing this. Um, Alita one, I kind of like the purpliness to her. I love the look of this. Like, my goodness gracious. She's she scales great, she looks great. Um, I guess that's Alpha Trion, right? Like, I'm assuming that's Alpha Trion giving them their teeth, is what I'm assuming. And then, of course, that changes them as we know. And we go on. I assume that I don't know what those ships are. Lee Quintesson attack. I'm not sure. Like, is that what is this? Like, what is this thing? Is it a Bach? Is it a Quintesson? Is it something else? It doesn't seem Cybertronian to me necessarily. So I'm in for some surprises with the film. I really do. Uh, looks like a lot of big action. I mean, <laughs> you know, it, it, like, what is that? Is that Black Arachnia? I don't know. Um, love the the scene where B discovers he has a battle mask and that he has hand knives uh, and thinks that that's really cool. So I personally, I can't speak for you, I personally have really high hopes for this. I really, really, really do. So let's get into that and check in with you guys again. I'm excited for it. Um, let's go up here. Um, I couldn't even tell it was Chris voicing Pax. No, neither could I. I will have to check out your God Neptune vids. I need a Seacon's gift set, but too expensive on eBay right now. That's fair. Um, I got God Neptune because I thought I'd never ever get the Seacon's, and I managed to get five of the Seacon's later. Um, by luck. The only one I don't have is Overbite, um, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm not paying the prices that some morons want for them. Um, so, and the God Neptune set is beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. 
I uh, love the animation. I'm right there with you, Omega, for sure. Uh, first time I'm watching it, I really like the preview. I'm excited. I'm with you, Ken. I'm starting to get into the new movie. Yeah, I, I hope, I really hope that it it proves to be a, a, like a fresh start that people can really get behind. Um, so, uh, well, with John Warden, uh, may throw a wrench in our plans with his return. Yeah, I mentioned last week about Warden coming back. Just, Warden, I don't have any problem with you, dude. But, like, man, I used to say that you were such a corporate shill. I mean, bless Mark's heart. You know, but don't be the corporate shill that Mark is. Just be your own man, dude. That's all. That's all we want. Be sincere. Be your own man. That's all. Um, Darkwing? I, maybe it is Darkwing. It could be Darkwing. So glad they have real voice actors. Yes, there's, I mean, this is a star-studded film. When you look at the, the people in it, like Sentinel Prime is going to be John Hamm. You know what I mean? Like, that's really cool. Maybe Peter Cullen could step in uh, once Ryan Pax gets the Matrix. I don't know. Possibly, possibly. I think there's a lot of voice cast not revealed yet. And I think that's deliberate. Maybe that seeker-like robot with Megatron and Orion Pax's Dreadwing. It could be. It absolutely could be. I didn't think of Dread, uh, Dreadwing, but I, it sure could be. Um, the Fallen statue. Oh, you noticed that too, hey? I think it is a Fallen as well. Um, Quintessons, maybe. Uh, what? Timo ad feels like a... What? Feels like a dream. Feels like magic. Oh, my goodness. I've never in my life used Timu. I never would. Um, from what I hear, they're a big fan of selling your information. Hey, D-Dog. Target canceled your pre-order for the upcoming four-pack. No way. Why would they cancel it? After going... Uh, what? After going on their 30% off sale. Um, Movie looks good so far. The best TF movie in the... First five minutes of Bumblebee. Yeah, it has a lot of Bumblebee vibes to it for sure. Um, that's that's a bummer though about your pre-order, man. Hey Donnie, I have no problem with the organic faces. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, that's what I imagine them looking like, anyways. Me too. I suffer from screen freeze at times. Uh, with me or with uh the trailer. If it's me, I don't know. Internet, my internet, your internet, who knows. Faces remind me of Earth Spark. They, I, I, I agree. I agree, and I like the Earth Spark animation. It's, it's nothing compared to the quality of this, but I like that too. So yeah. Dear on Cybertron, nice because remember it's a society, right? Uh, finally, home. Uh, Beast Wars Megatron said it best: uh, new packaging, same product, losers. Uh, for those cheap uh, crap figures, they have repacked more than once. Yes, they've. It's amazing how many times they've repacked them. Um, Cybertron is a techno organic planet. Wow. Uh, they look kind of Power Rangers. I can kind of see that. Hey, Jay. Space spores on Cybertron. Maybe, maybe. Um, I mean, they are walking on Primus. I hope the movie's good. I mean, I always hope the movie's good, but to be fair, I'm rarely, rarely disappointed by a Transformers movie because I just go for the ride. It doesn't have, I don't expect it to be Picasso, you know? I don't expect it to be, um, you know, some deep, artsy movie. If it has a solid message behind it, cool. But I just expect it to be fun. Um, Transformers 1, you must un uh, unlearn what you uh, have learned. Yeah, I kind of feel like that's where we're to. I think that's why we're going with 1. Fresh start, right? See how it goes. Yeah, absolutely. But I like going into it with, um, I don't know, an air of positivity, I suppose. Some kind of quintesson or however you spell it. Um, still stuck at work. Ah, at 1230. What? Boo. That's no fun. Uh, to quote Zerg from Buzz Lightyear and Star Command. Fine. Let the suits have their way for now. Um, hey, Ultra Megatronus. 
You think Hemsworth with an American accent is trippy watch? Uh, horns with uh, Daniel Harry Potter Rad Radcliffe. I, I don't I don't find it trippy. I just find that he's just not speaking like British e ish. Um, it looks like a fun film uh, that will hopefully world build. Uh, not sure what most social media was expecting. Uh, don't even think they they do. I agree with you. I, I I think that there's an opportunity for a lot of world build, building, right? Maybe Arachnid. It could have been Arachnid. I also have high hopes for Transformers 1. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, you never know, right? Hey, Big M, if I didn't say it already, buddy. I like Alpha Tron's alt mode. I'm with you, Jay. I'm with you right there, buddy. Okay, so... What got what? Fans toy scourge in today. Didn't even know that they'd done a scourge. I hope it's a good transformation. That's what I'm gonna say. I hope it's a good transformation. You never know with fans toys. Um. Anyway, let's see here. How about we go into this next? Because I'm excited about this. I'm very, very, very excited about alas. Um. Let's see. Where is that? Here we go. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about Magmatron. So here he is next to his like original. And it's so interesting. I've wondered what Magmatron scale should be compared to Big Convoy. And I assume at some point we might get a big convoy. We already have a big convoy. And I wondered, is the one that currently exists kind of in scale with this? Like, how much bigger should this guy be? Well, going by the official measurements, convoy is supposed to stand 3.2 meters tall, apparently. And this guy is supposed to stand 4.5 meters tall, apparently. So, yeah, he should be about a meter and a half bigger. So, he should be significantly bigger than Big Convoy, uh, which is interesting. And I thought that from the cartoon, but honestly, I wasn't 100% sure. I really wasn't. So, here he is next to the original. You can see what a heck of an absolute homage. I don't know if you guys are digging this as much as me, but, man, oh, man, I love that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I think that, you know, it's obviously an improvement. Um, as we go through here, here's a few kind of noteworthy things about him. Uh, worth noting first, at least in Canada, he's been pushed up from a July release to May 17th. When you know it, that's right around old Godbot's birthday. Um, it looks to me when you take them apart as the component pieces, it almost looks like the dinosaurs are two Voyager sized dinosaurs. I certainly think Landsaur is the most intricate of the three, but it seems size ish wise, can't speak for mass, but size ish wise, there seem to be like two Voyagers. And I would say Skysaur is like a deluxe. And you know what? There's a deluxe going together as a commander class. I think that sort of kind of makes sense, honestly, if I'm being realistic. Um, <clears throat> certainly bigger than the original. I mean, you can see the size there. You can see that uh, Lancer apparently is the most articulated of the three. Which I, I don't think that comes as a shock to anyone. Uh, if we look at Seesaw here, obviously the new one. Only one, two, three. Is it three? Mm, one, two, three, four sections. And it looks like four... I don't even want to say ball joints because they're not ball joints. They're hinge and swivel for sure. It's a more limited head in terms of articulation. Um, the other one has like, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like 11 or 12 neck pieces. But the neck is very skinny. The head is very small. It's not really in proportion with the body. So I, I think I kind of like the shorter neck. Plus, remember, all of that neck needs to hang out as a backpack, essentially. Um, Skysaur here, I mean, again, you can take off the 
wingtips, whatever you want to call them, the wing missiles, those, and use them as swords. They are made of soft rubbery plastic on the new one, worth noting. Also worth noting that the um, Magna Magma Sword is also soft rubbery plastic and doesn't have some of the spikes that the original had. So again, worth noting. Um, let's go through here. Uh, All together, again, he's a tiny bit shorter than um, Armada uh, Optimus Prime here. He's shorter than Jetfire, for example. By the way, Jetfire was a warden design. So, I mean, if you like Jetfire, same. I do think that this guy is definitely more complicated engineering because of the way he combines, for sure. So that explains part of it. But he's so thick that I believe that a lot of the mat is internal in this guy rather than in the height. And I think the hydrate. I'm very glad that you can take off the shield on the left arm. And he obviously has a wrist and normal arm rotation and articulation there. Uh, they can go together as their combined mode. Of course, this always looked unwholesome and weird to me but he can do it the head the head is able to go left and right as you can see here but i think that's about the limit of as far as the head can go it certainly can't go all the way around because the way that sky sword connects and the way the feet go over the shoulder sort of limits that uh full splits at the legs i mean fantastic look at the deep knee band here you can see again some comparisons um, of it together and just how much bigger the new one really is. You can see the way the neck of the new one is way better. And same here. I love the um, gold used rather than the yellow personally. And of course, we're back there. Um, any other notes worth noting there? I don't think so. Um, Oh, com the combined mode, by the way, when all three of them are, are together, actually does, if you can believe this, it has a waist. It has a waist. I honestly didn't think that that was going to be the case, but I'm sure happy it is. I cannot wait for Magmatron. Really cannot wait for him. We really need a big convoy, man. Or I really need a big convoy. Um, <laughs> just saying. Uh, let's see what we kind of got here again with you guys. Um, there's no human elements on it. Uh, just focus on the Transformers and only Transformers. But like, people don't like that either. How often have we done something Cybertronian and people are like, that's no good. You can't make everyone happy. I reckon you can't make anybody happy. Um, let's hope they won't cut a lot from the movie like they did in Rise of the Beasts. I don't think they cut a lot from Rise of the Beasts. Rise of the Beasts is elegant in its storytelling. It has no plot holes at all. Zero. So I don't know. Mm. Uh, anyone get the Missing Link Optimus Prime yet? The uh, animation one is fantastic. I don't know. Did anybody get it? Did anybody get it? Not for me, but he looks good. I assume you're talking about Magmatron. I mean, here's the thing. I don't know if anybody realized this. Maybe not. But, like, I have a version of all 13 of the Primes. Some of them are a bit janky, and I can't wait to replace them with official versions. But um, I do have versions of all 13 of the Primes, as well as the last Autobot. When we go down through the lineage, say, of Matrix, Matrix, uh, Matrix Bearers, we've had some Primes that we haven't had yet like guardian prime for example who looks an awful lot like hot rod awful lot like hot rod but you know i have sentinel i have nova i have optimus i have rodimus then if we use the japanese series the next autobot leader after rodimus was fortress maximus then it was um metal hawk for a brief time before ginrai then it was uh star saber then it was Diatlas all the way back to Star Convoy when Optimus got resurrected. I have versions of all of those. Then we jump ahead many, many years in the timeline to Beast Wars and Optimus Primal, whom I have a version of. Then Lyo Prime, whom I, or Lyo Convoy, whom I have a per version of. The only uh, Autobot Maximal leader, say, that I don't have a version of is Big Convoy. On the con side, you know, I have Megatron, I have Starscream, I have Galvatron, I have Cyclonus, because that's kind of that lineage, which is a lot simpler. But then 
Um, we never got, say, a, again, going to Japan. We didn't, some of the leaders that they had there, you can't really have, like Devil Z is so, you can't really have Devil Z, so to speak, because he's an entity, right? So, you know, at one point we have kind of, in terms of a robot, we have as a, a leader, Mega Zarek. Um, and that's great because that's Scorponok. I have that. That becomes Black Zarek, which I suppose is Devil Z because Devil Z takes over that body. Well, we have Black Zarek. I have that, which I guess I have Devil Z. Overlord. I have Overlord. Um, then we move uh, to have Death Source. I have Death Source. Then we move to have uh, Violin Jiger. And I have a custom Violin Jiger. I'd love a real Violin Jiger. And then we had the return of uh, Megatron as Super Megatron and then Ultra Megatron. I have the Super Megatron. We jump ahead many years to Beast Wars and Beast Wars Megatron, whom I have. I don't have a Beast Wars 2 Galvatron. I would love to have him. And I don't have a Neo Magmatron, but I'm soon going to have him. Which means in terms of the lineage of the leaders of both armies, all the way from the very beginning of G1 to the very bitter end of G1, I have some version of, other than one Predacon leader, being Galvatron 2, and one Maximal leader being Big Convoy. There's something about wanting those two to like finalize those leaders that really speaks to me. Might not speak to you, but it really speaks to me. Um. Hey, Transmetal. I was never able to get into Armada Optimus. Um, I want all the commanders. That's fair. Is Magmatron a quarter gigantosaur? <laughs> Maybe. If you're on the fence, if you're on the fence on getting Missing Link Prime, when you get him in hand, uh, you won't have any regrets. I, I, I wouldn't be able to justify the price in Canada for him. Like the one with the trailer is like $180 or something. I mean, Optimus, when I was a kid, was 34 bucks. You know, I, I get inflation and stuff. It's just, it's not for me. I've evolved beyond it. But if any, I, you know, if anybody is, if anybody is a diehard G1 fan and wants that, then I, I kind of agree with Sovereign. Like if you're, if you're on the fence, I don't think you should be. I'm not on the fence, but if you're on the fence, I think you should take the dive. Uh, I have the original Magmatron and it's definitely a very unique figure. It is very unique. There's no doubt about that. Um, I don't know if it's a Loch Ness or what that is. They just call it Land Soar, Sea Soar, and Sky Soar. Uh, Missing Link OP is amazing. Um, Lycan discovering G1 all over. I assume we mean like. I'll take the less articulated neck over the rope neck. Uh, for many neck joints, uh, do you really need that anyway? I agree. I agree, frenzies. Um, Missing Link is on the way. I actually really liked ROTB, so did I. They deleted Rhinox, deleted scene, Air Razor, and Elena is there. Um, I mean, Rhinox is in there. And remember, again, that's only supposed to be chapter one as well. Like I said, when Rise of the Beast come out, I fully expect that we are going to have more Beast Wars introduced. And I fully expect that we are going to have a lot more evolution of those characters. I don't know if we will now because fans destroyed that film before it ever came out. It was ruined by fans before it ever came out. Um, let's see. But I mean, cutting out a scene, I wouldn't call that a lot. They're going to cut stuff out and leave it on the cutting room floor. Yes. It's called editing. Uh, we miss prime ordered missing link prime a month ago. I uh, still waiting on it to ship. I hope you get it soon. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, by the way, a pair of seesaw flippers. I didn't say this. A pair of seesaw flippers are also rubbery. Uh, I missed that. We already, already done that trailer, so we got all that done. Um, on the 25th, which is next, I think, Wednesday, Robeson is going to be showing their Megatron off. If you care, I don't um, at all. I'm done with that company because of the trash that they associate themselves with. I just don't respect them. Uh, TFCon Toronto will be welcoming Simon Furman. And for the first time in Canada, Terry McGovern is going to be there. Of course, he's the voice of Wind Charger, Wild Rider, and Onslaught. Then we have 
this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Because I'm kind of... Uh, um, really stoked by the new. Yeah, man. Come on. Uh, Legends class. DX9 Ginrai. Uh, I think it looks great. This looks very clean. The proportions seem very Ginrai-esque. Uh, the chest looks right. The two stacks behind the shoulders, that's right. I think the angle of like the shins, lower legs look totally right. Uh, the combined mode here looks really good. That said, some people have complained and said they find that the windows on the chest look a little too small. Again, remember, this is Legends scale because um, it's called Mini or something. So like, I think it's pretty darn knockout fantastic for a Legend scale. Well articulated. Uh, the feet, the lower legs, they all look right. I can't wait to see a color version of this. The truck looks very clean. I mean, you don't have any clearance off the ground for the cab there. Truck looks real clean. It looks exactly the way I would expect it to look. I can't wait to see this painted. Uh, I mean, Ginrai, you know, and is very small. And that looks to have a bunch of ball joints to be well articulated. Right? So the whole Power Master thing is there. Uh, I mean, look at this. What else is there to say? Uh, I I mean, I guess it can take, I don't know, who is this? Um, double dealer? Is that double dealer? Like this is, this. I think it's a good size. I think it's a good look. I think it makes sense. I, I can't wait to see color images. I don't know about you, but I really can't wait to see color images. I think it's impressive. Um, I ordered Missing Link OP from Amazon Japan. Got it within a week. I heard Missing Link is fun. Oh, I have no doubt it's fun. I mean, it takes everything that we wanted improved as a kid and it improves it. Um, speaking of Hasbro Pulse, this got for pre-order. Uh, I would imagine, yeah. I think the pre-orders for the MP60 and the MPG9 went up. I'm not really following that, but um, I, I think they're already gone up, if I'm not mistaken. I think I did see something about that. Um, What about this? Let's do this. Nothing says April showers bringing May flowers quite like the Hall Hallmark keepsake ornament of the year. And it's another Optimus Prime. This surprised me. I mean, I, I, I'm not against it, but I look at this and I'm like, okay, obviously this is heavily inspired by the Holiday Prime that was the VNR mold last year. Um, I mean, you know, he got his, his candy cane ion blaster. He got his green and his red. He's looking very festive. What with his hat on and everything. Kind of a cool action pose. I mean, I like his face. I'm glad that they kept his eyes Blue, yeah, blue, like it should be. He has a little, a little Santa, you know, chin. You know, this will, this will likely come out and ship and stuff in July. It usually does. I think it looks neat. I mean, we've been getting a lot of Optimus Primes, though. It was nice when we were getting the G1 versions. At least I think so. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like those or what? Wonder if Studio Series Bumblebee Concept Megatron will be used in the movie too. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, more Christmas themed Prime. Um, I mean, it seems like a crossover between op, you know, Transformers and Christmas, right? Uh, Energon Universe are going to be taking part in Free Comic Day with three new stories: one for GI Joe, one for Void Rivals, one for Transformers. So that's cool. Um, Studio Series Voyager Class Bumblebee, or sorry, yeah, Studio Series Voyager Class Bumblebee Shockwave has been cited in the U.S. Uh, at a Target in Apple Valley, Minnesota. What a lovely name for community. Apple Valley. I like apples. I like valleys. Sounds like a place I would enjoy. Um, I don't know any, anything about Apple Valley, Minnesota, for the record. I mean, I, maybe it's the slums. I have no idea. I, I don't know, but it sounds like a lovely place. Uh, what about this? Remember the golden disc set that used the Huffer mold and gave us GoBots, Road Ranger, and Puffer. Uh, well, DX9, uh, not DX9, uh, New Age, not to be outdone, said, hey, 
we got a huffer mold. We got a pipes mold. Why don't we do Road Ranger? And this looks like Road Ranger, or not GoBots Road Ranger. It looks like Transformers Road Ranger for sure. Um, I mean, it's it's basically a black and orange version of Huffer, right? With some red. Yeah, okay, that looks correct. And you can see the accessories. Yeah, makes sense. Well articulated. Would you expect anything less? And of course, Puffer, who is the pipes with basically um, an all white body and a lighter shade of blue. But again, like if you know Puffer and you know Road Ray, uh, Ranger, like, yeah, yeah, this makes sense. This, yes, that looks like Puffer. Absolutely does. So they're really cool. I uh, Great looking mold. Look like fun. How are we doing here, guys? How are we doing? Sounds like a very rural American town. It does. Very like mid Midwest, you know? I need to get into Skybound Transformers. It's actually good. I mean, it's not perfect, but um, I, and I've only, I'm not following it hard or anything, but I've read it on and off and I, it's captivating. It's captivating. It's well done. Even if you miss a couple of issues, it's very easy to pick up on, on the story and just go on and kind of get into it. I didn't find that with IDW. I found if you didn't know all the backstory, there was a lot of inside information and things that would be mentioned and not explained and, you know, little inside jokes and stuff that I was like, I don't know what any of this means. None of this is landing with me. I don't know what you're talking about. And you're just making gobbledygook of the story. This is written terribly. And that's why I didn't like it. I don't find that with Skybound. I find I deliberately missed issues and went back and been like, how bad now is it going to be for me to catch up? And it's not bad at all. I don't even miss that I got part of the story missed. Like I'm able to, I know I have part of the story missed, but it's not enough to take me out of what's happening. Um, friend of mine has pipes, no complaints, but he's been waiting to get an Optimus. Uh, my town grew up in what's called White Pine. Mine was called Spaniards Bay. Presumably, a bay that was settled by Spanish people, I would guess, way back in the way back in the imperial uh, period, right? The the them colonial imperial times. It's the shockwave sh we should have gotten in the first place. I agree, it is. IDW had no backstory because it rebooted too many times. That too. I said shockwave in Target in no Apple Valley, Minnesota, not Nevada. What? Got Infernac. I'm not sure which one because the that heart symbol is in front of the thing. But whichever Infernac you got, I'm happy for you, Grimlock. I'm because those are great. I love uh, Magnus and I love Boulder Crash. And I, I presume Shard uh, is another one to love. I mean, death Crystals. How can you not love, you know, <laughs> a, a girl made of Death Crystals? She is going to be trouble. Um, she is going to be big trouble. Let's see. Uh, MPM 15 is going to be revealed in a stream on the 19th tomorrow. I presume that it's going to be Brawl. Uh, the squeeze play or cancer, if you prefer. Uh, it was shown by Mark Marr. He talked about it a bit. Uh, he called it a King Cobra Crab as the alt mode. He specifically talked about the headmaster being Locos. Um, not a lot of surprises in there. I don't have the pictures here because we know what squeeze play or cancer looks like if you are so inclined. But the last bit of news, the very last bit of news is this. And this is a trumpeter model kit of Nemesis Prime using their Optimus Prime mold. Uh, easy to put together, no glue, pre painted, pre assembled parts, well articulated, well detailed. Unfortunately, this beautiful beast is going to be limited to 500 units and will be sold exclusively at China International Model Expo, HEC in Beijing, Beijing, sorry, Beijing, uh, April 19th to the 21st. In other words, this Friday, Saturday, and you guessed it, Sunday. Um, will it be available after that? I haven't heard anything to indicate that that will be the case, but you can always hope and wish let's do the which i think should be very very easy i'm hoping tonight and i hope you guys have been able to see everything okay 
I think shared a cup, shared a spark, but when uh, he ran, when the what? But when he ran well, TFA Black Arachnia, anyone? I don't know what that means. I'm sorry, man. Uh, hold on. I got to go back here a bit. I'm, I'm going to reread that when I get down to it. Uh, ba -ba -bum. I just got Shockwave. It's pretty sweet. Um, same Waspinator. Uh, I've been reading a little. Uh, I am making a BBM Earth Mode Landmine out of detritus okay i don't know who landmine is offhand i can't recall the character offhand uh sounds like you would like minnesota i might maybe maybe i got nothing against minnesota i probably would i got silver bolt i think he's pretty good um i think shard and cop shared a spark but when he ran well tfa black arachnia anyone i I don't know what the end of your comment is there, Blue. I'm with you up to the word, but. I don't know what you're trying to say after but. Um, he was a 50-50 for me. Uh, has faults, but no regrets. Having him that face with those eyes really pop. Um, his bot mode is definitely on point. No, I didn't get Magmatron. He's not out yet. How would I get Magmatron? He's not released yet. The only way that you could possibly get your hands on him is if you're a dirty garbage thief. And I'm not a dirty garbage thief. Uh, or, 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 because I'm talking from somebody now in North, North America, or if you live in, mm, I don't want to say Asia. I want to say somewhere in Spain, Chile, somewhere like that. It came out somewhere in the world already but not in north america not in north america let me make that clear to have in north america you are i forgot it had a release you are either a thief or you bought it for some reason from an international country i don't remember which one it's out in so i do apologize because i did forget that there was a release uh i released somewhere but i'm gonna have them soon i can't wait to get them cannot wait it's very accurate and faithful to the animation model um the arm articulation allows him to do his famous hero stance um i'm assuming you guys are talking about i don't know who you guys are talking about i'm assuming you guys are talking about um the shockwave because you've mentioned a bunch of bowl a uh, bunch of bots now the hints were obvious i don't know what you're talking about i don't know what you guys are talking about so i'm going to stop reading the comments because i have no idea what you're talking about they work for Hasbro. We are jealous. Yeah, okay. Um, <laughs> here's the trivia, folks. Here's the trivia. Nope. Oh, suburbs of St. Paul. Now, St. Paul, I do know. Oh, so Apple Valley is a suburb of St. Paul. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. Beast Wars Silverbolt. Speaking of Silverbolt. Is a fusion of what two animals? This is an easy one. You guys will get this, no problem. Is it a fusion of A, a hawk and a wolf? B, a wolf and an eagle? C, an eagle and a coyote? Or D, a coyote and a hawk? What is Beast Wars Silverbolt? A hawk and a wolf, a wolf and an eagle, an eagle and a coyote, or a coyote and a hawk? B, B, anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Another B? Oh, they're talking about the missing link, Optimus. Oh, yeah, I really haven't been following that. Like, you should have given me that 40 years ago. I'm not, I got to be honest, guys. I'm not amazed by the missing link, Optimus. I don't want it. I, I watched one review on it. I'm like, yeah, okay. Okay, I guess. I I just, I, we're beyond that. I mean, Earthrise. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love that you guys have that passion. It's just, it's not a thing for me. I'm not, I'm not blown away by it. Um, but if you are, bless your heart. Bless your heart. Uh, B, 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 couple of A's, wolf and eagle. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is B, wolf and eagle. Okay, let's do the unboxing, get out of here. There are three items tonight that I have, three. The very first one is tomorrow's review. 
Oh, let's go down here. Tomorrow's review is going to be, funny enough, since we were just sort of talking about this, Shard. Oh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. She's solid. She's hefty. She has pain. She has yours truly absolutely smitten. And I still think that I see a death cobra here. We'll talk about all of her glory tomorrow. She's tomorrow's review. Then we get to next week's review. And the first one, oh, I want to show this too, by the way. I have a guy, I meant to show this last week, so I'll do it now before I do the other two items. I have a guy who's helping me to color match paint for here and the elbows um, because my discoloration is not too bad on Cyclonus compared to what some people have, but it is a little bit. What discolored quite badly on me is uh, the purple. So I actually painted the top of the purple. Um, and though it looks lighter here on camera, it's a really close match. I painted these back here on the back. I painted uh, the hinges in on the wings. And yeah, like right there is painted now. Um, and here on the back section of his hip, because it was all kind of turning like almost like a blue it was really weird really really weird anyway i digress tomorrow will be shard then on tuesday i think this one will be tuesday on tuesday we're going to take a look at and i'm not going to lie i'm pretty darn impressed with this guy too on tuesday we're going to take a look at silver bolt compared to silver bolt um and you know what i gotta say this guy's very, very interesting. He gives up a little bit of Voyager mass, but I really think, much like Optimus Primal, I think what is added here um, really, really does make up for the few grams. And it's only a few grams, like maybe, I think, 10 or 12, if that. Um, this, I think, is a true blue Voyager. Look at all that detail on the back. Ooh, buddy, can't wait to review him. And... Then next Friday, and by then we'll be doing, I, this is the review for next Friday, but we'll already have another unboxing done by next Friday. And this one's going to be a very interesting story. I have been waiting to do this for quite some time because we're going to take a look at Sandstorm and just how leader class this is compared to the Generations. They are both quite excellent. I'm not going to lie. Both of these quite excellent in their own way. Is there enough here, though, to be Voyager? Don't get me wrong. Unlike the Hot Rod, that I think is a lackluster, mid-range, mid-card deluxe, and barely a deluxe, I at least admit that this guy is spectacular. But is he spectacular enough? We'll talk about that next Friday. So, Shard. Sandstorm, Silverbolt, and still some stuff off to the side. But I think that's enough for now because we have reviews for tomorrow, Tuesday, and Friday all covered. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for coming by and sharing some of your time with me tonight. I very much do appreciate it. I know how important it is to you. If you're in a position to help the channel to grow, you can use the donate link. Check us out on Patreon. See what we have to offer to you through spring. Or, of course, you can hit the join button at any given time, man, and become a channel member while you're at it hit the subscribe yeah, subscribe button stick around have some fun with us here on the channel and don't forget that somehow some way each and every single day you right there each and every one of you you do make a difference in the world and i look forward to the next time that you and i get together to have another visit either in the live streams right here on thursday nights at the stop motion premieres or the old-fashioned way inside the videos